Hi everyone, my name is Fabi Dalbo and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today, we are covering how to dynamically compare different search in Alteryx Designer. Let's get started! Step number 1. Drag and drop the data source files to the canvas. In this case, both datasets contain sales order information, with order ID, product ID, sales, quantity and discount metrics. But they have different format, CSV file and Alteryx database file. There are some small differences among the values. Step number 2. Use the SELECT tool and make sure the metric columns contain numeric format. Step number 3. Use the transpose tool and pivot your metric columns to row values. Define the key columns using order ID and product ID, the primary key. Define your data columns using metric values the fields you want to pivot. Check this option if you want to dynamically add new fields in the future. Let's execute our workflow to see the transformation. At this moment, the data search has different structure, with the primary key, plus metric name and metric values. That will allow you to dynamically compare your data. Let's replicate this to the second one, just copy and paste. That's because they have the same structure. Step number 4. Use the join tool to blend the two datasets using the primary key plus metric name. Uncheck the fields you don't want to see. Rename the fields properly. Step number five. Use the formula tool to create the variance field. Whenever the difference is different from zero, calculate the variance. Step number six, use the filter tool to return the records with the variance greater than 2%.
Step number seven, use the search tool to order your data using the sending variance. Step number eight, use the report table tool to create a formatted grid with your data. Define the variance with two decimals. Step number nine, use the email tool to send it over the email on a daily basis. You just need to define some properties that I already have in my notepad, the SMTP server, the port as well, the encryption, also the authentication. I'm gonna put my password Also, who should receive this email. And I can define a subject. The last step, you just need to execute the workflow. And you should receive an email like this. Now you can schedule your process to monitor your data on a daily basis. We hope you enjoyed this data mining episode. Let us know what you liked and what you would like to see next in the comments. All of our videos can be found on our link below. If you want to be the first to know when new videos are posted, hit subscribe now.